So this looks like chaos behind me because it is. There's just ductworks everywhere. We're going to put a overarm dust collector on this table saw. I already built this dust chute for the bottom. That was in a video. Great video, you should go watch it. And this is for a two and a half inch port and it works surprisingly well because look at the dust. dust. That, that dust under there is from today, that's it. It really, really worked well. That does not happen when I have this thing on there. But I'm gonna make this a four inch and we're gonna have an overarm. This is gonna be the best dust collector table saw from the 70s ever. I just put the, the dust collector up on that platform that I made. The planer is already in. I got piping over. It's going to shoot over to the miter saw over there. I already have this connection going down with a blast gate, and now we're going to hook it up to the table saw. If you don't know what an overarm is, it's very, very simple. It's just one of those uh, clear things that you've seen. None of them fit this table saw. A lot of people are concerned about my safety on this channel, so I am going to be listening to them and building this. Mostly I want it for dust collection. I don't really care about safety because it's not. Just be careful, okay? That's the best safety rule there is. So I've got a little bit of steel angle iron and I've got a little, tiny bit of aluminum angle. We probably could do something with these. It needs to come out. How's it gonna come out? This is when I really wish I had new metal blades. I'm trying to figure out what I was thinking <laughs> exactly. That'll go there. These are both angled. Maybe we should use that. It's really dark. Only one bolt, obviously, which is not ideal, amazingly enough. Hey, that's pretty close. Two by four. Okay, we're gonna transfer to wood. Here, below there. All right. But we're gonna recklessly drill through a 50-year-old table saw. That has already been abused, so we're gonna improve it, actually. Ooh, it's triangulating, that's great. Thicker than I thought it was. It's got hinges, so I think we're good. Once I get it all painted, it'll look great. You probably can't hear me over that heater, but anyway. I found these two pieces of plexiglass. I think this one probably got a half ton run over it. This one had to be a full ton, maybe even a semi truck. It's really hard to tell. This is a one inch thick piece of MDF, which is, um, I've never seen a piece of one inch thick MDF before. This actually came with an old um, Ridley alarm stuff that I got. It looks like it's laminated too. Maybe it's actually thicker than an inch. Inch and an eighth, inch and sixteenth. What we're gonna do is I saw this on some woodworkers channel, I don't remember who. Kind of cut out this um, sort of wishbone shape that kind of went around the blade. Something like that. No. Okay, you can't hear anything. I'm sure it's raining and the heater's on. I'm just gonna turn the heater off, actually. The reason I was switching to the other end of this tool, which is the actual dust collector side, I got this TYN. The, I used PVC pipe on the bottom because I didn't want to cut my steel, and this piece is like the perfect length. The rubber hose actually fits inside of this bell end, so if I could figure out how to attach it in there, it'd be a super smooth, just shooting straight in. I'm sure I really like that. I took the swivel off because I don't think it's gonna be able to swivel with this TY, which is not attached yet. So I just said, forget it. We're just gonna make a stiff arm. It's gonna angle over, and then we're gonna have the other piece shooting off of there somehow, but I kinda of need to figure out what that's gonna look like before I can figure out what this is going to look like. <laughs> Slight redesign. I like it better now. Okay, so it looks really backwards like that, obviously, but it does line up pretty well with my thingy over there. And this definitely should have been straight. I don't know, I just like the angled look, I guess. Even with the blade fully up, I bet it will be in that circle. If we make it line up like that, we'll be all good. We really need to get some support figured out down here, but let's make this nice and square first, I think. I had this piece of scrap plywood off of the cutting out of the brackets that I made for the dust collection and it looks suspiciously purposeful, so I think this is going to give us enough stiffness so this whole arm will move at once. Better in there. Ooh, that's cool. Now it doesn't line up, see? Yeah, put she on there. Slot going from here to there. We're gonna use the um, function on the scroll saw that scroll saws are known for that I never used, which is you could actually thread the blade through there and then cut it out. I got it threaded through, we're gonna put the key in. I got a bunch of treated 2x4s I need to rip up into trim pieces for a shed I'm building, and, and that's not them, those are siding boards. Anyway, I want to get this dust collection done because I really don't want to do that without dust collection of some kind in place. So I'm going to try to really crunch through this and get it done. This connection for the ductwork is not, it's not flowing. First thing we're going to do is take this thing off. It looks smooth. That's a Japanese Hornet. 
Not cool. All right, we can get a piece out here. Is this piece, I want to use this piece because it seems less brittle. I also have some newer stuff, I think, back at the house, but that's back at the house, so that's useless. That'll work. I'm gonna try to cut up the bandsaw. That's what I normally use, and it works pretty good. <coughs> These bottom edges are not straight, so we're just gonna sand them out to get them nice and perfectly flat, and then we're gonna take them to the router and hopefully get them the same shape of the thing. We're gonna drill a hole right here. Right here, and right here. You actually can use a round over like that as a flush cut, but I don't need a round over right now. We're gonna use this guy. This looks a little bit scary all of a sudden, so I think I'm gonna cut off a little bit more, trying to get it really, really close with the bandsaw. And then I'll flush trim it, and then I'll cut this nice and smooth with the belt sander. Somebody's probably gonna say what I'm about to do is dangerous. I'm gonna find out how dangerous it is. This is looking pretty sharp for some scrap, ancient plexiglass. So I disassembled as much as I want to before paint. This guy, I really don't know if it's gonna go back together the same way if I take it apart. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Perfect, now. Oh yeah. The wood parts, I mean really, it's not that bad. Oh, I missed a spot. Another nut. Time saver 6,000. Actually decent. I don't hate it. Which is something to be said considering how I felt about it starting out. Anyway, now we're gonna build this piece. I'm a little bit worried about how strong it's going to be. Like that, like that. Ooh, super strong. Looks like something I didn't make, so that's that's good. Originally I was thinking going inside with this part, but I think it's actually gonna be better on top. Honestly. Very, very solidly mounted on there. I'm gonna set it to three quarters of an inch. I really thought that was gonna be more difficult to do and make look good than it was. There we go. It's good. I like it. Ah, it's getting ready to get cut loose. It's, it's gone. I did test it without you watching. It doesn't work amazingly right now. Um, I have a lot of air leaks. That one's going to come out, so I'm not gonna tape it, and that's a massive air leak happening there. I'm also not gonna tape this one over here because I don't know if I'm gonna have to move that to put that one in, so I don't wanna tape any of that junk yet. And the second problem is all this. Big pile of dust. We drill a hole, we use the jigsaw, and we cut out this until it's bigger. First thing we're gonna do, well you are really crooked. Put on the belt sander and flatten it out. This, very simple idea. Boom. Add about the same thickness as the width of the walls on there. Now I can use this as a guide to cut out the piece I actually need, which is going to be shaped like this in the middle, not like a triangle, because I'm an idiot. Nice. Yes. Alright. Now, for all you people that just have a shot back, which was me 10 seconds ago, don't try this. Have a dust collection on top and bottom with one shop vac. If you want to go crazy, still save money and put a shop vac on top and on bottom, go ahead. Go crazy. I did blow it off up here, but it looked pretty much like that. After making that cut, a full rip and a treated 2x4, 8 feet long. That's pretty cool. I need to clean up the floor. We can tell how good that works down there. There is a microscopic amount of dust. It's too dark to see. But right there, there is a little bit of dust. I see why. 
you see that there's a hole in the back. I could tape that up and that would be uh, much better. Anyway, I fixed that hole. I think the dust will go away in the back. Obviously when I finished the cut, you got dust. You can't help that. There is a good amount of dust inside. But I think with this amount of suction, it's not gonna be getting on my mechanisms as much. This is probably just the stuff that was too heavy to get sucked down. This is really breakthrough stuff for me. I hope this will be breakthrough for you too. Obviously, dust collector is a must to make this whole system work. You can do part of it with just a um, shop vac. Totally. That's what, I mean, I had the bottom piece, and it did help quite a bit just having that with the shop vac on it. I have video on that. I can actually put a card right here, if I remember it. If you have a dust collector, I would do this. It's not that much work. My system for holding it on and everything, it's, um, it worked. Your table saw is probably going to be slightly different, but this would probably be something like this would work. If you have something that can cut steel and a wooden drill through steel, you can make this whole system. It all works. It's probably not perfect if you have a way to make it better. Please tell me. I would actually like to know. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope this will help you fold for your table saw, and I will see you in the next one.